Hi guys and welcome back to Make Up My World. This week is all about My Little Pony and I've created five looks based on my favorite ponies. And for today, I'm bringing you Rainbow Dash. This pony is all about loyalty and friendship. I couldn't help but go a bit crazy with the colors of the rainbow for this look. From my cutie mark eyeshadow to my hair, I've gone totally rainbow. I hope you guys like it and will give it a try. Let's get started. To begin, I'm taking a glue stick to tame my eyebrows. Since my brows are so dark, I'd like to help them disappear a bit with some shadow. In order to do that, I need to make sure my brows are nicely adhered to my skin. If you don't do this step, your brows will poke out through the makeup that you apply. While we allow the glue to dry, I'm going in and beginning to draw the outline to my cutie mark clouds. I'm taking a navy blue eye pencil to draw them in, and I'm really taking my time to draw each little puff of cloud. I'm going to be doing this for both of my eyes, so I want them to look as identical as possible. But if they don't, it's not that big a deal. This is supposed to be a bright and fun look. Don't get too frustrated with the small details. Just do whatever you think looks good. As you can see, you may need to hold your skin taut in order to help the pencil glide a bit better. Just be patient and eventually you'll see the shape of a cloud begin to emerge. I really wanted the cloud to look like it was a part of my outer corner of my eye so that the rainbow could emerge across my lids. I'm going to start off the eyes from the bottom up by applying this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Cucumber to my lower lash line as a base. Now I'm going to start by adding the various bases for my lid rainbow. First, we'll start with this bright yellow pencil all over the lid. I bought these disposable eyeshadow wands to help blend out and apply all of my bases and shadows. I'm going to use one for each color to help keep things neat. If you don't have access to these, you can simply use a cotton swab instead. Next, I'm going to continue adding my bases for my crease colors. First, I'll start in the inner corner by adding this orange eye pencil and then I'll follow it up in the outer half of the eye with a deep pink pencil. After each color, I'm making sure to blend it out so that these pencils are nice and smoothly applied. I'm going to repeat this process with the last two colors above my crease. Using the blue pencil, I'm adding the base on the inner half of the eye. And with this deep purple pencil, I'm adding the base for the outer half of the eye. If you happen to go over your clouds a bit with the purple color, it's completely fine. We'll be cleaning up our clouds in just a bit. After you have both of those pencils down, don't forget to blend out the colors so that they're nice and smooth and ready for the eyeshadow to be applied on top. Starting off with this bright yellow eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and use the same applicator to apply it all over the lid. Make sure that the color is nice and bright and opaque. Next shadow up is this bright orange color. Again, I'm using the small applicator to apply it directly over the base pencil that we applied earlier. I know that the crease tends to go away when you close your eye, but I love this bright orange color as just a little bit of a pop when you close your eyelids. I had completely forgotten about my green lash line, so I'm going in with this green eyeshadow on the same type of applicator and I'm running it right along the lower lash line. It's a really pretty Kelly green. Okay, it's time to finish up our rainbow shadows. Next up is the red shadow and it's going to go right over the dark pink base color. Make sure that you get this right up next to the orange so that they blend well together. Then we're going to go in with the beautiful bright blue color from the inside of the eye all the way to the out. Make sure that you start really thin on the inside and kind of flare it out a bit as you get to the middle. And finally, we're going to use this deep royal purple color for the outer half of the top layer of our rainbow. Look how beautiful that deep purple color is. And again, don't worry if it gets into the outline of your cloud. We're going to clean this up in just a second. You just want to make sure that each of your layers are really distinct and that the colors are blended well together where they meet in the middle. 
Since all of our shadows were applied quite heavily, it's really important to go back in with a clean blending brush and just blend out all of the edges of those eye colors. You want to make sure that especially the purple and blue at the top are blended well so that it fades into your skin and isn't just a harsh line of shadow. You want to make it really bright and fun but also delicate. Now it's time to clean up our clouds. I'm using a silver liquid liner and I'm going to go in right over top of that navy eye pencil that we used to outline our clouds. The reason why I'm using the silver is I think that it looks a little bit brighter, a lot more fancy, but really truly a lot more reflective. Again, you want to take your time when doing this. You have a guideline in the blue pencil, so just simply use the liquid liner and go right over top. The blue eye pencil will actually act as a shadow beneath the silver liner. So just go ahead and add as much silver as you'd like, as thick or thin as you'd like, and just make sure that you have a nice definite cloud outline. Remember the glue stick we applied earlier? Well now it should be dried and over the top we're going to be applying a bit of red face paint as a base. The red brows really remind me of the streaks of red through Rainbow Dash's mane. Since we did a good job of applying the glue stick earlier, we can concentrate on getting a great, nice curved shape to the brows. Now we're going to go in with the same red eyeshadow that we used for the lids and the same applicator. We're using it as a regular eyebrow powder and we just want to set the red paint underneath. You don't want it smearing all over the place and you want the eyebrows nice and deep red. Since we're already into the red eyeshadow, I want to finish up my cutie mark. I'm adding Rainbow Dash's red, yellow, and blue rainbow streaks coming out of the cloud. Make sure you press down firmly when applying these colors so that you get an even and really defined line. I love how this is turning out. Next, I'm going to dab on a bit of lash glue right into the center of my puffy clouds. I'm doing this because I want to adhere some glitter over top and it's always nice to have a good layer of glue of some sort down so that the glitter has something to stick to. Use your fingertips really lightly and just dab it into the clouds, making sure that you don't smudge the outside. To give my clouds a bit of sparkle, I'm using this Too Faced Glamour Dust over top of my lash glue. I use the glitter from the lid so I have control of how much product I apply. I push the sparkles all over the cloud for an added whimsical look. Since I'm already on Rainbow Overload, I decided to give my lips a bit of the rainbow makeover as well. I'm using the same colors as I used in my eyes and I'm layering them carefully starting from the bottom up. The deepest color is first with this purple pencil. Next I took my blue pencil and applied it right next to the purple. I want them touching but not blending. I also need to leave room for a third color on my lower lip. And that color is this yellow. I wanted the yellow to be right in the center so that it draws the eyes in and gives the lower lip a bit of a pout. For the upper lip, I'm starting off with red right in the center above the yellow. Make sure when you're applying this not to touch the two colors together until they're nice and dry. Right on top of that is going to be the orange eye pencil. Just make sure that you leave room on the upper lip so you can get an actual defined lip with the next pencil. You really want the orange to be nice and bright, so go over it a few times to get that color payout. And last but not least is this deep green pencil. I didn't use the cucumber pencil from NYX since it is way too light to be used on the lips, so I opted for this Kelly Green eye pencil instead. It just helps to define the shape of my lips and the green goes on beautifully. For the final step, I'm adding mascara to my upper and lower lashes. I will be applying false lashes and my wig off camera and that really completes the look. I hope you enjoyed watching this Rainbow Dash inspired look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. To keep with the loyalty and friendship theme that Rainbow Dash lives by, please be kind to one another. And always remember, don't ever be afraid to be your perfectly imperfect you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. 
Thank you for watching. Click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world. Don't forget to visit my website MakeupMyWorld.com for more details on me and the products used today. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My details are below. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.